Good evening, good evening, good evening, Boss Safe Squad. So good to see everyone, especially post-conference. I've been having some serious withdrawals since. <laughs> so we definitely need to try to like schedule some type of fellowship soon. But um, just wanted to get everybody together to do somewhat of a um, pseudo recap of what happened this weekend, get some um, thoughts from everybody, kind of some aha moments, just to share. Um, to those who maybe missed conference, couldn't make it for whatever reason, we wanted to kind of give you a very high level rundown of what was discussed, um, some tips that we took away, and the new promotions that are going on so everyone kind of has a clear understanding and if there are questions, we can go over them together. So I will just say it was a fantastic weekend. Conference never gets old to me and this is my third one. Um, for some of you all, this is your second one. So <clears throat> I'm sure each time that you went, you've gotten some out of it. So for those that weren't able to go, make sure you save your coins for next year because it's probably going to be bigger and better than it was this year. So you definitely don't want to miss it. Um, it was consisted of three days. The first night was um, kickoff and worship night. Um, there are some of you on here that caught the whole thing. I caught probably the last last few bit of the top 100 walk plus the um the worship service so worship was phenomenal um day two was just some panels just some um just awesome tips from people and day three was basically the whole panel experience where you just got tips galore um probably your hands were hurting by the time that we finished but um i shared some videos in the group i think some other people shared some videos in the group as well as their pages so make sure you revisit the group as well as our top leaders in this group's pages to kind of see what was going on with the panels but that was basically a blitz to ambassador kind of day where they went all the way from blitzing all the way up to going ambassador different tips on how to do that and how to stay on track um i'm going to just ask one person if they can whoever wants to volunteer just kind of to explain what the kickoff meant to you kind of explain if you got anything from kickoff did you have any type of revelation seeing people on stage did you get anything from the worship service how important was the worship service to you going into the actual conference. Does anybody want to share? Hey, y'all. Hi. <laughs> hey, it's Sarah and Nisha. Um, yeah, the worship service was, it was amazing, guys. Um, it was it was lengthy. It was longer than I expected it to be. Um, they came in, they did worship, and then um, Mark and Cindy's pastor they came. He came and gave a word. And honestly, for me personally, it was a word that I had been hearing for quite some time now. And obviously, I haven't been obedient to the word, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> spoke to me in that way, um, which, you know, that's a personal thing, but it just let me know that I'm in the right place. I'm in the right direction and I just need to um, be obedient to God in, in that manner. So that's, I mean, that's what it meant to me. And, you know, the fact that they took the time to um, put that together for us, to get us in the right mindset, the right, right mind frame um, to receive what um, was going to take place and to be able to have a clear mind um, for God to speak to us. I felt like that was really amazing. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that, Arnisha. A lot of times we hear God and we don't move on what he says. So <laughs> we can always either take the easy way or the hard way. I don't know why sometimes we take the hard way, but at the end of the day, he's always there for us regardless. So I love that um, piece that you actually got out of it what you needed and it wasn't just a worship service for show. It's actually something that um, for every conference I've been to has been done every first night of the conference and for conferences prior um cindy pentecost who's mark's wife she actually has prayed over every seat 
in the building, every row, every seat. Now, I don't know if this year she prayed over every seat because we were in a, <laughs> a hockey arena, but in past conferences, <laughs> being small enough to where she's actually prayed over every chair in there and just praying for us as distributors in the company and just praying for the people that need to be in to come in and praying for the people that need to go out to go out. So I appreciate Cindy Pentecost for doing that. And I think that really just sets the tone for the whole atmosphere that she actually does pray over every seat, whether it's physically or just, you know, saying the entire prayer over the arena. I'm sure she did that. So I love the worship service simply because it sets the tone for the entire conference. It gets everybody in the vibe kind of, takes your mind off of the stresses of the world that we were in prior to conference and I just appreciate um them for having that worship service so how did everyone feel with top 100 going across the stage did anyone kind of have that thing of oh my god I wish that was me or oh my god that's gonna be me because I didn't catch it but I've seen it last year and just in my mind I'm just always like pushing for top 100 every time someone leaves the company or they quit or fall off I just know for my team there's a spot for us at the top and if we keep pushing and striving I know we're going to be on that stage too so anyone kind of get anything out of seeing top 100 or even the millionaires club I see Brenda twice see Brenda twice yeah I'm on here twice <laughs> I'm trying to get my tablet to work. Sorry, guys. Well, it's only three of us on here that went, so it's going to be between you and Brenda and Arnisha, like, throwing a tennis ball back and forth, baby. <laughs> but, okay. yeah, you guys, top 100, like, seeing those people walk across the stage, and literally, it's a new group of people in there every year. Like, we had um, so many people that... I I didn't think would be there so fast, but they are. So that tells us that it's totally possible for any one of us to be in top 100 next year when we go to conference. Um, just the feeling of walking across the stage. I think all of us, um, I think Rubies and above have done that at some point in time, whether it's at conference or one team, one mission. I know last year they let um, – Diamonds and Above walk on stage. I think it's Rubies and Above. They let walk across the stage last year. Um, but everybody that has been Rubies and Above should have had a chance to walk across. And that feeling that you get doing that just preps you for being able to walk across not only in Top 100, but in the Millionaire's Club. There's no reason why the Boss Babe Squad can't be in Top 100. There's no reason why your individual teams cannot be in Top 100. So definitely have that something that you add to your dream board. Because, again, with people that have just joined the business to be in top 100 and have been in the business for a short period of time, have gotten there, that gives me so much hope. So that was pretty much that. The main thing that I like um, was the Blitz to Ambassador. Did any of y'all who went get any nuggets from that or anything that stuck out to you that maybe you weren't doing or that um, you were doing, but it wasn't right, so you're going to try another way, or something that you're doing, but maybe your team isn't doing. What stuck out to you during the Blitz and Ambassador Day, where they went straight from the Blitz to reaching Ambassador all the way up to Black Diamond? I know Brenda got some notes. I saw her whip it out. I have, like, pages of notes. <laughs> pages. Do you have uh, anything from one of those panels that stuck out to you that maybe the team um, doesn't know? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I think it was more so um, I think the one I got the most out of was the one where Lena was talking about how she was just putting herself in a position to be blitz. Mm -hmm. And so, like, even before, like, if she knew she had an event coming up, like, she would already be prepping her her social media before those events. Like, she told a story about the bachelorette weekend um, that she was out and about with. She already knew that those were, like, eight to ten new, like, eyes that were going to be 
on her pages and so like she made sure that she had a good enough amount of you know lifestyle posts and befores and afters because she already know that they're gonna you know connect on social media before they get on the trip so they can get to know each other a little bit prior to you know how we do we scope out who we gonna be hanging with especially if we haven't never met them before to kind of see what kind of person they are and what you're going to have to put up with while you're on that trip and so by the time you get to uh before she got on the trip like the first day without her even mentioning it you know they were talking to her basically the bride basically was selling the raps for her it was like oh yeah i didn't know elena was a rap girl and just that mm-hmm. and the third and she basically had a party for that bridal shower um well for that bridal party and got two distributors and I think she said like three lawyer customers just out of that one trip and she didn't have to open her mouth but because she put herself in a position to make that opportunity with loading her page with before and afters and things like that you know it basically did the work for her so I think that was the main thing of like putting ourselves in positions to where we don't necessarily <laughs> have to always be a mouthpiece because I know blitzing a lot of people don't like blitzing, but just wearing your gear and having your name tag or having something on your car or having something on your bag without you noticing that you're blitzing someone and you don't even have to open your mouth. You don't have to approach people. People will approach you and it'll make it a lot easier. Right. I, I like that part too um, because she mentioned about using like the hashtags for her being in the bridal shower, they were in Vegas, and she ended up right. with, like, what, seven people or something like that? Yeah. Um, within, like, a f- six-hour time span, she said. And the the fact that she used not only her customer relationship, because one of the friends that was getting married was her customer. So I'm sure she followed up with that customer. She treated that customer like VIP. And then once she started using the hashtags of the bridal party to actually kind of market, so to say, which was the setup to market her before and afters and what she was using, her friends started scrolling through it. But because she established that great customer service with her friend who was the bride, her friend shouted her out. So I've had that happen a lot of times where my current customers are treated them so well and followed up so much that they would say, hey, I told my friend about so-and-so and so, and now they want to purchase the wraps. So that's a referral. So you got to think about that as well. And from Brenda's point, that leads into one of the segments that Ronnie Brown did that's called Retain to Maintain. And that's basically where you're giving such a great level of customer service to your customers. You are treating them nicely during the initial sign up. You're telling them, okay, let me know when you get your product so that I can make sure that, you know, I continue to give you the proper instructions for it. Or if you don't get it in time, then I can contact customer service on your behalf. When they get the product, make sure that they already have their before picture for their before and afters. Give them an incentive for giving you um, there before and after pictures because some people don't want to do that but if you offer some type of small incentive to say hey I'm collecting before and after pictures for my online portfolio do you mind providing one for a free week of greens or something those before and after pictures are golden and the fact that they're from your own clients are great so just following up through that timeline of signing them up making sure they get the product making sure you're giving them the correct instructions making sure you're doing your two-week follow-ups with them every two weeks ask them how the product's doing ask for additional after pictures so you can have a timeline of the of the progress and that um will Make them know that you care, not that just you sign them up and you let them go. So with that, because you're actually giving them that great customer service, you're going to retain them because you're following up with them and keeping track of their progress and showing that you care. When you do that to every customer that you bring in, they're not even going to think about the three months. They're going to keep ordering because they're so focused on how customer um service oriented you are that they're going to keep ordering because guess what 
the products are going to be working. And two, you're going to be recommending additional products that they can be trying on their fourth month, fifth month, sixth month, and telling them, hey, you were on the weight loss. You reached your goal. Congratulations. Why don't you try our hair, skin, and nails? Or why don't you try this new product called Shake so that you can maintain those results? And then with that customer keeping um, their auto ship up, you're going to be maintaining, which means maintaining, for me, it meant maintaining your volume. So if your volume is low and it's lower than the rank that you're at, try bumping that volume up to get back to your rank. And when you promote to keep that next rank by maintaining, and you maintain that rank by being customer service focused and making sure that you are treating your customers truly like VIP. Don't sign people on a VIP post and then sign them up and then forget about them and never contact them ever again. That's not VIP. So the retain to maintain was a great, um, it was a great segment for that because loyal customers are the bread and butter of our business. That's like the oil that keeps this machine going. If we don't have customers, we don't get paid because y'all know we don't get paid our personal orders and auto ship. So we need customers to get those commissions. We need customers to get those fast start bonuses. And we definitely need customers to not only qualify pr for promotion because you need four and you also need the customers to maintain your promotions. So retain to maintain was something that I got out of one of the panels and doing all that, <clears throat> like Brenda said, setting yourself up to get those customers to expose your business. And then once you get the business, whether through distributors or through customers, you're maintaining your business. And that means it's thriving, it's building, it's growing, it's never diminishing because you're being consistent month to month to month following the three simple steps to success. And that will eventually lead you from the blitz, the initial conversation, all the way to ambassador and beyond that to Black Diamond, and then in your 2.0 spot, of course. So Blitz the Ambassador, to me, was a great focus. If you all search that in like a hashtag on Facebook or something, I'm sure you will come up with a lot of videos that people posted on those panels. So make sure you do your own research. Don't depend just on people that went. I know some of you couldn't have gone, but there's lots of material from conference that are already posted on social media. Just use your search button, um, do the hashtag retain to maintain. Ronnie B um, coined that hashtag. So I'm sure it's a lot of stuff on that that was posted, as well as just one 2017. You may have a bunch of videos, posts, pictures um, of new promotions that are out. So make sure you do your research on that. Okay, so let's talk about the bonuses. So, does everybody understand how these bonuses work? The go yeah. and the go fast. I don't see Janelle, so I'm guessing. Hey, Nissa. Okay, so basically what it is. <laughs> she said yes, ma'am. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm sick and I hate the cough in the thing. Um, I don't even know how much more time I have. Y'all know I downgraded to the um the free version. Because ain't nobody got no $14 to keep spending. Okay, hopefully this still shows up. And hopefully I'm not showing anything I'm not supposed to show. Okay, so this is in your rules, um, official rules. So if you go to document library in your e-suite, Everything that you, you need to know is here, okay? Can y'all see my screen? I'm sorry. Yeah. The Go Bonus Promotion Official Rules? Yeah, yeah. We can see it. Okay, I can't see y'all. So I guess, okay. We can see you, though. Okay, so make sure I don't pick my nose or anything. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when I can't see myself, I don't know what I'm... Let me move my mirror so I can make sure I'm looking at myself. I mean, why you don't know what you're doing, though? You're, it's, you're there. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I may, like, do my hair like this a thousand times on the call and don't even know I'm doing it until you I You do watch. that regardless. <laughs> but I don't know I'm doing it. That's why I'm like, ugh. People are true. Okay, so... You have eligibility requirements, and this goes for people that sign after January 1st of this year and for those that sign before January 1st. Now, nobody promoted between January 1st and conference, so we don't have to worry about 
any shout outs for <laughs> people that went ahead and earned the bonus. But the reason they told us to push it was because anyone who promoted between January 1st and conference automatically earned these bonuses. Now, if they happen to not have um, four new customers, they probably didn't earn it because. So, so I told you, did you hear what I um, said? One of the um, I, yeah, I can hear you. One of the um, <laughs> the <laughs> one of the I'm hidden, sorry. <laughs> one of the hidden stipulations is that you have to have four new customers. Now, in any other good bonus that we've had before, all you had to have was four qualifying low customers since the life of your distributorship they just had to all be active right in this case if you look at your wire app and i need everyone to make sure not only that you have the wire app downloaded but you are also logged in and that you have your go fast okay so on the wire app right here at the top you have a 4lc icon one of mine is highlighted because i look to see that i've only had one lc that I've kept because all of the other ones I've been giving away to help people promote for their executive. So I only have one that I kept for myself this year. So I got a bus tail to get those other three so I can be eligible for my promotion. So those are not just four LCs for your lifetime. Those are four new LCs. Okay. So if you look at new distributors, the only person this applies to is anyone that signed after January 1st. So how this works is, the month, they took the average for all distributors over the course of It Works history of how long it took them to get to each rank. They took the average. So average diamond may have gotten to diamond in three months or nine months. So they basically just took, or 12 months, or they, they basically just took the average. So the months that they're allowing us to go, which is the go bonus, is Diamond 6, Double Diamond 8, Triple Diamond 12, Presidential Diamond 16, Ambassador Diamond 20. You get a 5,000 bonus, 15, 25, 50, 75 for each um, rank that it applies to. What I like about this um, existing distributor chart is that for those of us who signed before January 1st, it's telling us how long we have to go to each rank based on what rank we're currently at. So if you're less in a diamond, meaning emerald or below, to get to diamond to earn the $5,000 bonus, you have to get to diamond, what is that, by June 30th of this year. So you have March, April, May, June. You have four months to get there for the gold bonus. Double diamond, um, so that's for me. If I want to go... Well, that's for Travis. If he wants to go double diamond to get the gold bonus of 15, he has to get there by August um, 31st of this year, okay? So, there's no reason to, well, I'm trying to go triple to get the gold. I have to go triple by December 31st of 2017. So, I have the whole rest of the year to go triple, but that's not my testimony. So, we're going to go... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go down to go fast and go fast is my testimony so i'm gonna be claiming that so for new distributors like gina like um i forgot her name elias melanie's girl um i think melanie signed this year so for people like y'all y'all are gonna go based on this new distributor if you sign up after january of this year okay so make sure everybody on the team if you sign new people this year make them aware of this chart, the new distributor charts, either for go or go fast. So basically it takes the months and it divides them in half. So for diamond to get the go fast, instead of 5,000, you'll get 10,000 by reaching diamond in three months, okay? So you can look over this at your own accord, but just remember you have to have four new qualified um, LCs, yeah, LCs, and you have to promote <clears throat> within that time frame. So here's a secondary chart for Go Fast. So for all of you who are reaching Diamond and you're less than Diamond to get the 10,000, you need to go fast by March 1st. And that's pretty much everybody. If you see March 1st is gonna be for everybody to get to go fast 
for existing distributors. You can very well get the go, but if you're trying to go fast, you only have the rest of this month in March. You can see it go diagonal like that. So for Travis to get 30, he has to get it by March 31st already because he's a diamond. So look at the top of the chart to in the middle. He's a diamond to get to double. So from left to right, he has to get it by the end of next month. For me, I have to get triple by the end of March because I'm currently a double diamond and I have to hit triple by March. If I was a diamond and I'm trying to go for triple, I would have until May. So every double promotion from where you are, if you're trying to double promote, they give you like an extra two months, if that makes sense. Okay? So if you're trying to triple promote, they give you an extra, what is that? Uh, March, April, May, June, July. They give you an extra five months, and the ambassador is extra seven. So... I'm not good at math, but y'all get the point. Okay, so just make sure that if you are going for a promotion, you get four new LCs. Make sure that when you get them, you do not move them. You need to keep four for yourself. You need to make sure that those four do not return their order, cancel, whatever, within that time frame that you're trying to promote. If you're going for the go and you need some extra months, and one of them happens to cancel or return their order, make sure you replace them ASAP. I would say it's just better safe than sorry. Go for six loyals or seven and don't just go for four, okay? At any time, you do not keep your rank after you get it. Okay, let me back up. When you get these ranks, okay, for $5,000, you're going to get $200 paid out over a 25-month period, okay? Let me take this thing off, okay? I need to know how much time I have. Y'all can look it up in the, in the thing. Okay, so like the good bonus, you have 25 months to get your payout. Um, for $5,000, you get $200 a month for 25 months to equal $5,000. For $10,000, you get... Okay, for 10,000, you get 400 a month. For um, 15,000, you get 600 a month and it goes up from there, okay? At any month, you don't get four customers. From what Mike said, if you only have three in this month, you lose that bonus for that month. So you lose that 200 or that 400 for that month. But if you happen to replace that customer by the end of next month, that bonus will come back into your commission for the next month. That's what Mike said. It was a little confusing because in the actual rules, it said if you lose rank or you don't have four qualified LCs within that month um, or any of the 25 months, you forfeit the entire bonus. So might need to get a little bit more clarity on that. I would hope it would be if you lose four customers and you only have three, as long as you replace that customer the next month, you will get the bonus back the following month, okay? Kind of like auto ship. You don't run your auto ship this month, you don't get paid next month. But if you run it next month, you'll get paid the following month. It works the same way. At least I'm hoping it does. So with that being said, just always look at your reports and make sure you have at least six LCs that are active under you. The LCs do not have to complete their three months before you promote and get your bonus. So if you sign for in March and you're promoting in March, it's okay because they're active. Just make sure they stay active or you at least sign two more customers and keep them so in the place one actually cancels or returns, you don't forfeit your bonus, okay? Make sure you download this Wire app. Because it has all your calls, it has all your events, it has a go fast emblem to tell you how, how much you have and how long you have to get it. And it has um, any news that it works has. So make sure you download that as well. One thing I want everybody to do um, is to get a blank piece of paper, um, get construction paper, whatever you want. Write down the, um, the rank you're going for. Okay, write down the bonus that's coming with it and write down what you want your average monthly income to be and take a selfie and post it. 
And I want us to tag each other. Don't just tag me. Tag each other so we can hold each other accountable. Because guess what? When everybody sees how many bonuses Ken is going for, Brent is going for, Janelle's going for, it's going to seem more like real money. Because if they just see, oh, I'm just going for 50 again, it won't seem as real when it's just me. Now, when my whole team is going and when your whole downline is going for bonuses and they're posting it like I'm about to earn this and so and so and so, that may up the chance for distributors or PDTs wanting to come on board. Okay. So make sure you do that. Um, if you're not a Ruby or above leader, tag a Ruby and above leaders. Um, this call is recorded. So people on the call or that watch this call may be distributors just coming in or executives tag your Ruby and above leaders. If you don't know who they are, they are listed in the photo section. They all have pretty collages saying that they promote us Ruby and Emerald. Okay. So, Make sure you post that selfie tonight, sometime this week, whenever you want. Just post it soon because that's going to draw the attention that, oh, they're giving out this money and it's for real. Like, it's not just, you know, him just being successful, the whole team winning. So make sure you do that. Your rank you're going for, the bonus that comes with it, and the monthly income that you're looking to make with that rank. The rank you're going for, the bonus that comes with it, and the monthly income that you're going to be making with that rank. And your monthly income can be the average income, or you can factor in that monthly bonus on top of that monthly commission to make it even higher if you want to do that. Okay? So, with that being said, um, Brenda had mentioned lifestyle posts, and me and her talked about it on a, on a separate Zoom. But make sure if you're trying to promote and you need structure, you need to be doing lifestyle posts at the wazoo. Arnisha had a great one today, and I love the filters that she put on that because it just looks like one of the Alyssa Bill you posts. And I just, like, can I double tap? Can I? <laughs> I was trying to double tap on Facebook and couldn't. So, you know, I was, I was a little twisted. But the picture of her in front of the garage was like, epic it looked it literally looked like a tiffany her or a list of bill you post so y'all need to like practice on your apps like trying to figure out what filters to use and make it look like ig worthy because that was ig worthy if y'all need to come to my house because my garage door ain't tore up my next door neighbor garage door tore up but mine ain't i can't, I can't. <laughs> I can't. We can um I take can't. some pictures in front of the garage by a tree. We can go downtown yeah. off Gervais Street and take some pictures at the cafe with the tables and chairs outside. Whatever I need to do to help y'all get some Instagram worthy pictures, we can have a little photo shoot on the iPhone for those that missed conference because my baddies took some sexy earth pictures yeah. at the conference and some of y'all missed the free photo shoot that I was given. So if we need to do something in Columbia, if we need to drive down to Charleston and take some pictures by the waterfront, then we need to do that. Okay. We had I'm down. We had Greenville and I keep pushing it out. I don't I don't know. It just seems like it's so far. Um, I would either like to go to Charleston again or I don't know, some some somewhere. Greenville got some pretty scenery though. They do. That's that two hour drive though. It is it two <laughs> hours or like an hour? It's like an hour and a half, depending on how you drive. Oh no, man. I thought it was two and a half. Maybe that's why I keep pushing. I okay. mean you going all the way to Charleston. Charleston is like forty five. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> the lies you tell. Lies. <laughs> We got to figure out when we going to fit that that trip in because it's still on the events. I just keep pushing the date out. It probably, it will probably have to be like the beginning of March, like the dead beginning, and we can just set March off with a bang. So I'll um, talk to some of my leaders about that and see what they want to do. But we need to make sure we get our pictures up, like take a day, get pretty, t get handsome, take some mock photos of, you know, so take – have somebody take a picture of you holding your phone and working. Take somebody, have somebody take a picture behind you and maybe have your website on your phone and they're taking a picture behind you with God's chosen what's her promotion role. on your cell phone. Um, okay. So she's, since we're a family, she's mother. I'm the uh, mother. I can she's still the one that hear you. <laughs> right. I'm the mother. mother. Hello. I can't. I can't. I no, baby. Because each individual have their own. He's so loud. Okay. Taking so, tips 
information oh, and that way we can share with him. our individual team. Wait. And I'm in South Carolina. Wait. Okay, I'm meeting him. Okay. So <laughs> I was like, as long as he don't say <laughs> bad, I'm good. <laughs> He's so select. <laughs> As long as he didn't say she a tyrant, she a dictator, <laughs> she don't ever let us do stuff that we want to do. Oh God. Did y'all see this? No. What is that? Someone took a picture in front of the It Works Jeep like it ran over her. Really? Yeah. It's cute though. And It Works post It Works Adventure Team posted that. That was so funny. Okay, y'all, we got two minutes. Okay. So um, oh, get a story. Make sure you have a, a new story every six months. And it can entail some of your past stuff, but just make sure you always update your story. Your story within It Works that can go with your lifestyle post. That will go along with the pictures that I'm talking about. So if you always have a story saved in your note section in your phone, you can paste it and edit it however you want to update it. And then <laughs> add a stock photo. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Add a stock photo of you on the phone, sign the distributor. And when you do sign a customer or distributor, you could have the picture of you on your phone saying, um, love working for my smartphone, smartphone money is so fun, smartphone funding is so easy, blah, 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 blah. Okay? So make sure, again, post your, your selfie with your goals. Everyone's promoting to Diamond, right? Say, yay! Yes. yes. All right, y'all. So I'm going to end this recording. And then what time is it? It's time to go. We got 20 minutes. So.